Alex Wooden on 100% Canadian Maple Stirrup. Hello and welcome to the Daily Rant. I'm Alex Wooden. Wednesday, a bombshell was dropped. The Prime Minister was photographed wearing blackface and turban. Shocking? Yes. Inappropriate? Absolutely. But of any real importance or consequence? Not even close. But I will say this in response. The Prime Minister said, I should have known better, and I'm sorry, and, you know, I didn't think it was racist because of my privilege, and I realize now that it is, I'm sorry. Listen, Justin, you were a teacher at the time, not a student. I think that a scholar could realize that's a little bit inappropriate at a damn school function. Now, there are plenty of far more detestable, worse ways than this that Justin Trudeau has hurt black and brown people of the world. Like his first official act as prime minister was to contribute to the Yemen genocide by selling Saudi Arabia armored and machine gun mounted vehicles right before the outbreak of the Yemen genocide by the Saudi Arabian government against the poor Yemeni people. That's right. He helped start a literal genocide. Ethnic cleansing. Don't sit there, anyone, and tell me that his blackface did anything to hurt black and brown people when he sold weapons to a terrorist nation right before the start of a Holocaust-like event. This is a farce. How about the fact that he has done nothing to improve the living conditions of indigenous peoples living on reserves and elsewhere, many up north without ba basic access to water? food, electricity, and a suicide crisis up in the far north. The missing and murdered indigenous women's investigation largely being a failure and more murders happening under him. Nothing was done to combat it, only to investigate the current missing. No economic engagement plan for native Canadians disadvantaged by the woes of genocide and residential school rapes, abuse and cultural eradication and forced indoctrination into Catholic faiths while told that their own heritage was barbarism and devil's work. Only receiving now empty apologies and platitudes while offering only a small financial pittance for appearances sake. And absolutely no economic engagement plan for the rural poor white and mixed populations in urban areas no plan to build the middle class only the same old oil rhetoric and bs from the past 40 years no innovation just the status quo and a token of legal pot that 80 percent of the nation wanted and now benefits only the rich economically neoliberal to the core. How about his utter failure to do anything about a Green New Deal for Canada, offering only the same old oil jobs to Canada's future workforce, renewing our nation's commitment to a heavily subsidized tar sands economy for 50 years to come, and his cannabis legislation that unfairly lets millionaires and billionaires conquer the market and leaves no room for crap growers. We have no way to Legally sell what we now we can legally grow and plant. This is a plant that could lift millions of people out of poverty, average people, with just four magic plants. And it would help provide for the shortfall that they currently have and lower prices. But let's not forget, we could also let those in rural parts of the country grow more due to their land access that they have and the benefits that cannabis plants bring to the soil and their air quality greater than that of trees. Instead, if you were caught selling outside of government parameters, you face five years in prison. How can a poor person take part in the cannabis economy? Work minimum wage at a cannabis store? Or save up $5,000 for fees and another thirty to 100000 for the actual storefront or approved grow-up operation or equipment? With the election coming up, I ask you only one thing. Look into who you vote for 
See if they have a Green New Deal platform. See what they offer. Don't vote for the lesser of two evils. Vote your conscience. Vote for a future. The liberals have let us down. The conservatives will drag us back and screw us any way that they can for a profit. The NDP might not be enough, but their leader has given recent lip service to a Green New Deal for the people. The Green Party may offer solutions as well. For me, I view Trudeau as the equivalent of Barack Obama for Canada. They both let down their communities that believed in them, put faith in them to bring change. And instead, they fed the banks. Now, both have been caught wearing blackface. Both have been caught pretending to be black. I'm Alex Wooden. Thank you for listening to The Daily Rant, where we'll bring you a rant daily. Remember, you are all citizens of Earth. You are all citizens of Eden.